Hello and welcome back to Life is Strange Before the Storm. We're now on to episode 3, Hell is Empty. After finishing a very tremontous, I want to say, I don't know, very like hectic, maybe is the best word, spry to, to, to like describe the last episode. Uh, we last saw Rachel's family having an argument over her dad's shooting. Now in this new episode, we shall see the aftermath of it. And we can see if we actually end up winning already. Previously on Life is Strange, Strange Before, before the Storm. storm. I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while. I just, I didn't know what it was. There is plenty of blame to go around. What does that mean? You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. Hey! Blackwell's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Whatever you do, don't open the door. Oh, I want my fucking money! Juliet is waylaid. That infernal inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. No fucking chance! I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond this isle. The corners of the world are mere prologue. What sayest thou to my most hopeful wish? Yes. Let's leave. For real. If you don't mean this, it's... It's just making me feel like shit that this life you're describing isn't going to happen. What would it take to convince you? Why can't you just tell me the fucking truth? Rachel, that woman you saw. That yeah, her hair is different mistress. from the parents, white. Right? That makes sense. Small, small blonde. Was your it's like blondy mom. brown, isn't it? Well, light brown, I think that's the word. Yeah, small light brown. I want to tell you all of it. But are you sure that Chloe should be here for- Chloe stays. It can of be course. from my mom, I guess. I don't know. Let's not In dig deep into this. That matters, Rose is my wife and your mother. But the woman you saw at the Overlook, her name is Sarah. Your birth mother. I'm going to tell you everything, Rachel. Everything I've shielded you from for so long. But the truth can be hard to look at. Is this really something you're ready for? Hopefully. Chloe. I'm right here. Good. I need you. in high school there was one person everyone adored her teachers her friends Sarah was everyone's favorite every boy wanted to date her I could barely believe it 
and she picked me. Sometimes, I think that's what kept me blind for so long. Yeah, it's she pretty was weird. So alive, so passionate about everything. Early on, though, I realized I wasn't enough for her. Is it that dumb? While the rest of us were pursuing college, careers, families, Sarah wasn't looking for any of that. She was looking for escape. Sarah became pregnant I thought it would solve everything and it did for a little while oh okay little baby becoming your father is the greatest moment of my life there was so much love but I was still blind However much she loved you then, it wasn't enough. For Sarah, the need to escape was always there. For over a year, I tried to help her. I made myself believe that she was still a good person. Oh my. Oh no. No matter what happened, she would never do anything to hurt you. I was wrong. Eventually, I saw her for who she really was. A destructive person. Someone who could never be satisfied. Anyone or anything. Even the love of her own daughter. This is actually like so sad though, isn't it? I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. So I made a choice. I was never going to let her harm you again. So much of this. Okay. What you saw at the overlook, Rachel. It was true. We kissed. It was the saddest kiss of my life. It was a kiss goodbye. I told her that I was happy for her. That she felt like she'd gotten her life together. Yeah, that is Fine. pretty good. But she didn't get to just decide one day to be a mother. Not after what she'd done. But after all the people she hurt. All the lives she destroyed. I told her she'd been given the greatest gift in the world. The chance to be your mother. And she squandered it. It pained me to hurt her like that. But I'd do it again. And again and again to keep you safe. So that was the first time you've seen her or spoken with her in 15 years? No. I send her money. Every single month. It's our arrangement. 
But now she wants to see me? Yes. That's but Rachel far too long, right? cannot be. Why not? If that's what Rachel wants. Drug addiction is a disease. It afflicts everyone, not just the addict. I will not allow you to be victimized by her disease again. Even if that's true, Rachel could still meet her. And maybe the, the fact that she wants to see me means she's gotten better. Maybe so. But consider that for 15 years, she's preferred that money point. to you. Good point. Rachel. I think I need to lie down. Go follow. Where do I follow? I I can't leave Rachel to deal with this alone. No. Oh. I should inquire where are you but I should attend this class already. Okay. Let's go. We can tell them parents, but friends over dickheads, I guess. Well, not both dickheads, I mean just one dickhead. some way to show Rachel that I'm here for her. The yin and badass yang of Rachel Amber. Rachel has so many inspirations, wow. she can barely keep them all contained. Uh, what can we look at? Rachel even knows how to make a dinky lamp look cool. Rachel's surrounded by so much love, yet she seems so uh, alone. Makes sense that Rachel needs two signs to contain her awesomeness. Oh. I shall call her Lion Crab from now on. James Chris and Fashion Open, yes. So, uh, potentially. We just go for here. It's in here. Oh. Are we gonna make something? I could get grades like this. I just don't want to. Excellence personified. Well, my lad, delighted Diana, this is rightly shone. Cool.
<laughs> At least she'll have something from tonight. Maybe we should look at Mum's text. She sends us home, bless her. Rachel's always made being an A student seem so easy. Almost sad to see all this effort. I know something Miss Arcadia doesn't. It's a little weird. Flat Emily's going around things. We should be asking for a friend. Didn't start the fire the day after firework was here. Strange one, friends. Ain't no idea where it came from, no idea where else lastly to the song. Total mystery, of course. Press costs like 50 pence here. <laughs> Only 50. Press what's so shady as shit. Can we burn a better yet? Bodies, not to mention it. Kim tries to drop over town, highly flammable. Equalize all of the movement. Okay, by alteration spike, it's coming. Okay. I think Rachel could use another subject. But which one? Anatomy of Chloe Price. That's the one. I bet Rachel could have any study partner she wanted. Where do babies come from, Sean Dell? <laughs> Even you, Willie, couldn't come up with the tragedy Rachel's going through. Rachel's really into stars. I wonder if it's her way of feeling connected. I bet Rachel would rather be anywhere but here. Maybe I can make the world a less scary place. On stage, I think Rachel said... Oh wow, graffiti. I've heard that Rachel and Nathan hang out sometimes, but it still seems hard to believe. Yeah, it's pretty weird. They do look like each other, though. Kind of in a photo. What's this? That? Did the watch her size greasy gunk. Yeah, I think there was only one I missed, and there's obviously one, two, three, four. I just think, and then there's Woody. I'm going to it, yeah. Hey, Rachel. Oh, we popped I'm it off. Of, of course. Hey. I've heard that Rachel and Nathan hang out sometimes, but it still seems hard to believe. Rachel has so many inspirations, she can barely keep them all contained. Oh, this light needs more light. Oh. It's got the, it's got the thing. I wonder what I could find around here to brighten up that. The flashlight. For Rachel's light. Stars. Hey, 
Hey. Check it out. It's... beautiful. I thought you might like it. I've always loved stars. It is pretty nice. You remind us there's so much beauty out there. Which we almost never see. Because we're blinded by what's in front of us. <laughs> exactly. But then I learned the truth. The stars we're seeing have already been dead for millions of years. That can be a positive thing. They're like all what you're doing now, we've lost forever. Lies. But that doesn't make them any less beautiful, right? I don't know. If they're not even real, then what's the point? It's all lies. Everything. My entire life. My dad. <laughs> My mom. The mom thing, maybe, but the dad thing, potentially not. More. And that other woman. My real mom. She's the biggest lie of all. I can't trust any of them. I think you're the only one in the world I can trust. I'll take it. Even if it's only by process of elimination. <laughs> Good. I wore this bracelet my entire life. I never even asked why. Never even thought about it. <laughs> Somehow, I think I always knew. Even when I didn't know. <laughs> that my real mother was gone. Do we, have, do we have to leave this game? Come on, bro. I do. Uh, just, just to progress, we're gonna have to shame in it. The fact that she's here right now. That she came here for me. I think I need to see her. Is that wrong? Of course not. But it, it might be tough to track her down. Yeah, that's true. Luckily. I've got my secret weapon. Secret weapon? But what if we can't find her? It's not like I can ask my dad. I have no idea where to start. I think I know what to do. I'll call Frank and get him to connect us to her. You do that? I'll give it a shot. Of course, even if we know where she is, we need a way to get to her. I can't just ask my parents for a ride. I think I might be able to fix up that truck in the junkyard. <laughs> really? I'll give it my best. I know you will, but even if we find her, how will I talk to her? What do I say? 
After my dad died, I didn't know how to keep talking to him. I still don't. Rusty. But it doesn't matter. All that matters is that he's there. Your dad? In my dreams. He's there. And it's so real. It's almost like it's another part of my life. It used to be the only part that mattered. I've never told anyone about that. Weird, huh? Uh, Rachel? I was just thinking... Maybe I was wrong before. <laughs> Who cares if the stars are dead? As long as we can still see them, that means they're real. Yes. To us. Right? That right. is absolutely true. Ooh, fancy. I have a feeling it's gonna be another dad thing, right? Yeah, another dad thing. Dad, uh oh. I think we're stuck. Hey, maybe you should let me drive. You always do it wrong. That was one time. When are you going to let it go? <laughs> Remember when we used to work on cars together? Those are some of my favorite memories. We never... That wasn't you. Hmm. Could have sworn that was me. All right, you win. Why don't you go take a look? You sure? Really, really weird. Ugh. What's wrong? Don't you see anything? No. Fine. It's <laughs> the spark plug. No, that's not it. I just had that replaced. Isn't improv supposed to be all about yes and? Yes and what? Dad, stop. N none of this is real. You're not real. R Rachel's family isn't real. This whole thing, it, it's, it's all just theater well you know what William Shakespeare said oh it's a stage something about the whole world being a stage so might as well act the fuck out of it nailed it but I don't <laughs> want to be an actor I just want to be myself. Give me a break. Hmm. Well, 
Maybe there's a reason we pretend. Maybe the lies we tell each other are less horrible than the truths we keep hidden. Wow. That's pretty dark, Dad. Where do you think you get it from? There's my cue. Dad? Relax, sweetie. It's all pretend, right? He's right. not. Just a bit of stage magic. Floodlights. Sound effects. Chloe. Look at me. Look at me, sweetheart. It's going to be okay. Dad! Oh, that's oh, that's gruesome, mate. Oh. On my hand. Wait, what the shit? Has someone been going through my room? Doesn't seem like mom. She wouldn't leave a mess like this. Wait, David? That motherfucker. Whatever. I don't have time for this shit. I've gotta help Rachel. Okay, I saw Sarah leaving Frank's RV. He might know how to find her. Plus, he likes me, and he owes me one from yesterday. I can do this. <sighs> Come on, dude. Pick up. Hey, Frank. I was actually gonna cash in for a favor instead. What do you say? Never run out of crap, do you? What's the problem? I need to find that woman from yesterday. Sarah. Frank? What the hell for? Something important. Can you help? I'm trying to help a friend. It would mean a whole lot to her. The girl with you at the mill? <sighs> yeah. I'll meet in the junkyard in two hours. <sighs> Sweet. Cool. Thanks, okay. man. You're a real. <sighs> that went well, I guess. What am I getting myself into? Okay, I've got two hours to kill. A shower would be fucking amazing. Still can't fucking believe that David went through my stuff. Thank you for being there for me last night. Feeling a lot better. Guess what? Mm -hmm. I'm a good kisser. Okay, that. Also, oh, me and Frank got drunk for two hours. I think my guess touched it. Here, yeah, that's still at my house, just showering. Things I've been told to the shop. So me at drunk yard help you there. You're meeting some friends. We try. We try. Dad's favorite jacket. Definitely taking that if Rachel and I ever leave. Got a water there. The thing. Ah, uh, better than nothing. Keep 
that life somehow. <laughs> Is that David's towel? Where the hell is mine? Okay, my towel's probably in here somewhere. Not in there. No awesome pirate towel. Lots of washcloths. No towel. I truly hate seeing so much of David's shit around here. Princess Rose. Oh. Score. Oh, I can't cute believe boy. Max and I were so into this shit when we were kids. Wait a minute. Captain Bluebeard's hair dye. Max was going to make me a pirate, but we should do this. He never got around to it. So much she gets a blue Ready thing. for the best shower of my life. Hot water. Don't let me down. We have the option to dye it blue, do you reckon? Yes. Hopefully we carry on dyeing it blue. Slim shoulders, or whatever the drama teacher said, I don't know. Dragon. Definitely dragon. Hell yeah, dragon.
Why did I accidentally do this again? Alright. Exit. Okay. One last thing. I need to get Dad's tools so I can fix that truck. Dad's toolbox should be in the garage downstairs. If Rachel and I were still leaving today, there's literally nothing in there that's worth taking. Sorry, Ward. I've got a real ride to fix up now. So much has changed. I wonder if you'd even recognize me now. <laughs> Fun. California, huh? Would be cool to see where Rachel grew up. Figures. Um, what? Oh, nice to see my work is appreciated. No one asked you, Trevor. But okay, that was crazy. Rachel really is good at everything she does. I the unique and bold direction Travis gives and gave the show not taking field to the absence from over. Don, classic works, fell in the lead role, the young Rachel Amber came in to come under the stage, just as Prospera, a self commander unknown. Buffy especially from Prescott's Caliban, who carried himself to my attention of the clothes spring. From from the back of an audience, Mrs. Mr. Prescott's race towards since they were supposed to pull as usual as unusual admiral for young lads. Thou art an idiot. <laughs> this came to me Samper Prospera surpassed even that of Miranda from Friend in Hand. Error struggle between loyalty and liberty and surprise gave a truly genuine performance indeed. That's Hang nice. in there, Skip. Oh, but Skip. Oh. Let's go. Wait, did we just... Oh, we just came out from there, right? Oh, sorry, didn't this... No. And then let's go downstairs. Door, door, ah. Oh. Is there any juicy gossip in here? No way. Mom actually sold her ring? For $300. Oh god. Cause nothing screams compensating for something like a bright yellow sports car. I remember this. Mom loved it. Wait. Is today Mother's Day? Shit. <sighs> Can I just give that to Mom again? Oh no. David really is moving in. Sports cars are really good for. Flames. Lots of flames. Survivors. Definitely, probably, with something now. Now I'm assuming. Let's hope not. Okay. 
So if I put this photo out, mom just hides it in a different drawer? What the hell? I wonder who gave this to mom. What was that? That was cool though. Well, it flew didn't miss anything though. If really, I can always go back and get them. By following like a guide or something. Here goes. What are the chances I can avoid mom or David? <laughs> I'm flipping them over. <laughs> Not yet, I told you. Three minutes each side. They're gonna burn. Oh, you're the expert now. I can't stand it. I'm telling you, it'll make a mess. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, you don't have to make me breakfast. I'd settle for flowers. You cook all the time. I want you to have a break at home. <laughs> you are one class act, David Madsen. <laughs> Can we punch them now? Mom actually looks pretty happy right now. Beef, that's just goody. Hey, who's there? Hey, Chloe, your hair. When did you, was this for the play? I heard you performed last night. Nope, I mean, I, I did, but this is, uh, is something different. None of that matters now. Oh, I am so glad to see you. Good to see you, Chloe, coming home. It was a smart decision. But leaving from you is even smaller. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Thank you, sweetheart. I... I didn't get you anything. Having you back home is present enough. I'm just here to pick up something. Then I... Uh, I have to go. Are you... Coming home tonight? Mom, I... I don't know. I wish you would tell me what you're up to. I'm... I'm just hanging out with Rachel. Oh, okay. how is Rachel? I was telling David about the play and you being in it. I really gotta go. Listen, wait. Before you go, David has something to say to you. It won't take but a minute. Mom. Better do it for Joyce. I don't think this is the best idea. You already promised. Chloe, I've made an agreement with your mother to trust you from now on. <laughs> really? What does that mean? It means that from today forward, I'm going to take you at your word. So... If you say you haven't been smoking or drinking, then I'll just leave you be. Even though she had pot yesterday. David, the idea is you should feel comfortable here, Chloe. David's not going to question you, and neither am I.
David's lying to your face, Mom. He searched my room. What? You didn't know? Detective Dickwad here went through all of my drawers and my bed. It's what you asked me to do. Make sure she's got no drugs or alcohol for her own good. Oh, my goodness, Chloe. I'm sorry. I thought that... I'm sorry, Joyce. I didn't know this it's would upset Chloe you. It's Chloe who deserves the apology. Well, Chloe, I'm sorry that I violated your privacy. I did it with your best interest in mind. Okay. Oh, I, Joyce, I accept your Joyce. lame apology. I Chloe. wish you no noise. What? I guess. I really meant it. I don't know. Good job. Can we be done now? Wait. One second. Don't go, Chloe. I've been meaning to show you something. Maybe, maybe now's a good time. This is my friend Phil Becker. We served in the same unit, two tours. Becker was killed near the end of our deployment. Roadside IED. We used to joke about all the trouble we were going to get into once we got back home. But he died. He died, and I didn't. And I think about that fact every damn day. The point is, I've had my share of grief. I know he's just trying to connect though. That's nice. So I guess what I'm saying is, I'm here to do what, whatever I can to help you get over the loss of your dad. Please, I'm begging you. Give David a chance, won't you? Here. Why don't you keep this photo for a little while? Uh, think about what I've said. Uh, I accept her. David looks so young. And this Phil guy, they look close. Thank you, David. Oh, Chloe. Mom. I'm just so proud of you both. Mom, I really need to go. Be careful out there, Chloe. I love you, sweetheart. All right, all right. What the hell? That is... No, thank you. Just gotta grab Dad's toolbox and then get out of here quick. Holy crap. This might actually be helpful for fixing up the truck. Stop the recording here and start in two seconds.